Ah, the Crawfish Festival. We should give you a fashion report. Al's already been wearing a really nice shirt from my buddy Ronnie Matuk and the folks at Talking T-Shirts. Alex has this wonderful Crawfish Festival picnic-type dress. Let's go over to Alex. She is standing by and more on the Crawfish Festival. Miss Worstel. Okay, guys, so we know that this festival is huge. So many great things happen, but the music, the lineup, it plays such a crucial role every single year. I've got Mark Bernard here, who also plays a very crucial role in everything that goes on at this festival. So let's dive into this year's lineup, maybe give us a little sneak peek of what we can expect. Well, like every year, we try to do our best getting uh, the, the most talented out of Louisiana because we strictly promote Louisiana music. Right. Occasionally we'll get an out-of-state band, but they play the type of music, the Cajun culture and all. And some of them have roots here when they do come. And this year is no different. We have 30 bands on three stages. We have uh, anywhere from Wayne Toops to the young Jace Gula you saw earlier yes. on TV. And everything between. We got Keith Frank. We got uh, Russell Matoir, very hot and popular with this article now. And it just it just goes on and on, you know, from Friday through Sunday. It's nonstop. And, uh, again, it's the best of Acadiana, basically. It's funny you mentioned, you said, like, the young Jace Gulag. These are kids that grow up coming to the Brobridge Crawfish Fest, right? And I'm sure at some point they watch these musicians and they're like, hey, I would like to do that. So how cool, you know, to come full circle and then be one of the people playing or the talent. That's it's really a great thing. Yeah, Bra Braz Uval is one yeah. of our professional musicians. He's the best. Who's been here forever. He's played with Steve Riley and on and on, been all over the world, born and raised right here. He's teaching a lot of these young kids, and they, they showcase these young kids on Sunday afternoon. That's where Jace is started. Now, Jace is going to be playing with his own band on Sunday morning. So the, the tradition of bringing from uh, start to finish is here. And I mean, he's, he's on his way to be one of the next biggest names in our area. No, I think it's so cool. I always say that, like, if you have a young child and you want to get him into music, Brobridge, send him to Brobridge. That's Absolutely. the place to be. Absolutely. We, they have plenty of chances to showcase their talents here, whether it be at the festival or the coffee shops and the little jams that go on all year round. And a great opportunity to learn, too. Um, anything else that you want to add specifically? Anything new we should expect when it comes to music, the lineup, anything like that? Well, we got a couple of first-timers over here. Uh, Jordan Thibodeau is one of them, a very talented young guy. Hasn't been around too, too many places. And so a lot of people, he's going to be totally new to them. And I think it will be someone they appreciate. It's kind of like when Wayne came up. Wayne yeah. went into his own style. Jordan has his own style. And that's what we're trying to promote, young, old, men, women, the whole nine yards, and keep a good mixture. And, and I feel pretty comfortable that this year we succeeded in doing that. You absolutely succeeded. Guys, it's going to be a phenomenal weekend. Rain or shine, be out here. You're going to see a lot of great talent. Uh, we have a great talent in the studio helping you with this weather, how to navigate it. Storm Track 50 meteorologist Adam Olivier, we send it to you.